So the fourth in our trail stop approach go technical training series is looking at the risk multiple or the ATR method, where we look at either the degree of risk we take at the beginning of a trade and utilize that, or we can use a multiple of ATR as a level at which we potentially move the stop higher. So it uses a defined specific price move to determine when to trail. And as we've said, we can have use a multiple of initial risk level. So if our initial risk was 40 points, we do it at 40 point increments. If it's $2, we do it at $2 increments or an ATR multiple. The challenges with this approach is, of course, is why the ATR are not percentage or pips or points or cents. Generally speaking, uh, the ATR adjusts itself for time frame you're trading and also the instrument volatility and pricing. So it is a far more transferable way of working this out than perhaps utilizing percentages, pips, points or cents. Quite often, our initial risk will be based on a, a multiple of ATR. So we may have a stop system that says we're going to choose our risk at one and a half ATR below our entry, for example. Secondly, when do we action, for example, on close above the next level, uh, which will show you an example of that or at any time. And thirdly, where do you place the trail compared to the identified level? Do you place it on it or just below it? And again, where you plant your flag is up to you, of course. The key thing is be that specific so you can subsequently be consistent and measure it and test an alternative. That's the key about using any of this that we're talking about. Plant your flag, trade it religiously, and then test the alternative. That's the system. So let's look at a chart for this. We're going to choose a stock example just to mix it up a little bit to show you the principles of transferable across instruments and time frames. So we're going to use the daily chart on CBA, so Commonwealth Bank in Australia. And let's say we're interested in entry at 92. We've placed our stop at around about 89. So that's a $3 risk on this trade per share or CFD. If we were to use the ATR, you can see the ATR is $2.16. Uh, so let's call that $2 to make the math easy. So one and a half ATR would be $3. So what we can do straight away is we can say, right, okay, we're gonna put our ATR levels, so our risk levels, $3 apart. So we're gonna use this blue line to indicate the various levels. And you can see the first one is $3 above that 92 so we're going to place it there the next one will obviously be at 98 so we're going to place it at this point here and then of course it'd be at 101 so essentially what we've done is we've taken the risk level from our entry point down to our stop and said right we're going to use a multiplier of that so what we do with this method as we've already intimated is each time it breaches the next level we would move our stop higher so at this stage this is our entry at this point. This is where our stop is. When it breaches this level here, which is one times risk multiple, we would take this and we'll place it just underneath break even. When it reaches this second level, we're gonna move it again just below that first risk level. And when it hits level three, we're gonna move it up again, just underneath that next risk multiple. And if it should have moved up to 104, which on this occasion it didn't, it didn't quite get there. So we'd leave it at this point here and it'd be triggered down just around this $98 level, locking in around about $6 per share. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.